and Ryan Archie Diacono. whatever Coach Wright asks him to do, whatever we need him to do, and that's what a leader is, and that's what he's been doing for the last four years. But he taught me how to be vocal and taught me how to play hard all the time every time I step on the court. A very talented player, you could argue the best player, that embodies the coach on the floor. It's unbelievable that a guy can do that every single day, and that's what makes him great. In terms of being an overall Villanova basketball player on and off the court, I think Arch might be the example for everyone. He is the, the essence of Villanova basketball. He could teach it to anybody, and he plays it better than anybody. Guys, we are prepared to fend hard with a Villanova attitude. We're prepared, all right? Now, we got to get that mindset right now. We got to start that on this team. We got to start that brotherhood that we can count on everybody Whatever time they get, whatever they're doing on the bench, on the floor, we can count on everybody. They're going to defend hard with a Villanova attitude for 40 minutes. You got it? Let's go do it. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. Attitude. Tell the guys we just missed an opportunity to dive in that loose ball. We attack. Go 50, 50. We were nervous when Arch was coming in um, the summer before his freshman year because he didn't play his senior year in high school because of a back injury. We didn't know where he was going to be. And first play, first day of practice, um, he takes uh, a charge on Javon Pinkston. And second play, he runs over Javon Pinkston and puts his knee in his nose and breaks his nose. And right there, I think we all said, this guy's OK. I think being here in the summertime as a freshman and getting accustomed to what Coach Wright wants and being able to play with the guys, I don't think there was no real adjustment period besides like when you first arrive on campus. Probably the first couple of games was just just different just because they didn't really have much film on me or anything because I never played a game before. Archie Akino gets some space straight away, three pointer. He's got it. Archie Akino nails another one from the top of the key. Feeling good to start the game. Two threes now for Arch. It was an up and down beginning part of the season and throughout the whole season it actually was. But once we beat a couple solid teams, then once we beat the two top five teams, got a good sense of like if we keep doing what we do and practice and pushing each other and get better, we're going to be really good or at, I just don't know when. And by the end of his freshman year, it was it was just a no brainer. This kid's going to be a stud. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys! I don't think there's a, a guy or a family that bleeds blue and white more than the Archie Diakonos. This is home. This is his family. This is his family's family. And it's not just Villanova basketball. It's Villanova University. Uh, all his family's friends are Villanovans, guys that play football with his dad, friends of his mom. I'm Joe Arch. It's my wife, Patty. And you what's your name? Kathy McMahon. Kathy McMahon, my wife, Patty. I love it because they play so hard. They play together. The one great thing about my dad throughout my time playing basketball, playing sports, is that I played so hard and that's all he ever wanted. And even still to this day, he never says anything to me that's negative because he knows that my goal is for us to win and for me to be the hardest playing guy on the court. It's just a part of me. I love to take charges, dive on loose balls, because I think it's just an attitude that the other team isn't prepared for. And it's, it takes someone who's unique to, to like to do that stuff. And I always love contact, playing football and everything. So I was used to it. I liked it. I, I tried to be as physical as I could on the basketball court to maybe get my, give myself an advantage, because I knew that if it, if it was a physical confrontation, I could, I could win that. But that's just the attitude that I had. And I think that's the football the football in me from my from my dad. Very proud. Of we are. We are. It's been amazing. What an amazing run. I love watching. Amazing him play, run. Brother. Love watching him play. So much. It's been great. Arch Diakno, left side jump shot up and good. Ten seconds to go. We had a choice 
we picked Ryan, I don't think there's a guy on our team that would doubt that. You know, it's, it's almost the exact same spot he hit the shot at Sy against Syracuse, same spot on the floor. And everybody just knows he lives for them. Always wanted the ball. I've always had the ball in my hands at the end of the games. And in high school, I really didn't make any clutch shots at all. And I would always miss them or I'd miss free throws. And it was tough. And it was something I had to adjust to. And I wasn't used to it. It's just an attitude that I wanted the ball in my hands at the end of the game. I still do. And I think I'd rather have it fall on my shoulders. I'd rather just all the blame go to me. I played the way that I play for Villanova my whole life. I try to get as much out of myself to give to my team as I can. Nova was just a perfect fit for me in the style that I played because that's all the core values that Coach Wright has set here at Nova. So if they're getting back, make them deal with posts and rips. Yeah. Right? Rather than just let, get threes off of They're doubling in the post. OK. He frees me up to coach all the other players because I don't have to spend any time with him. He thinks exactly like I think. He does everything exactly the way I want him to. I know I'm out there with those guys because he is. I know as long as I have him out there, we're good. I think we've had a unique relationship in that I do everything he asks, and I'm always trying to be coached, and I think he appreciates that. As a freshman, you don't really have the same pull as you do as a senior through this program because you haven't been through it all. And I think I've been through it all in that we weren't as successful freshman year, sophomore year, we just kept getting better and better. And uh, I just think he appreciates the grind that we go through together. And it's been a unique relationship, but it's been a great one. Whatever they're doing, I have been out there because he's there. And uh, I don't, you're probably never gonna get one like that again. I'm not trying to look ahead because I'm trying to take it one day at a time because I'm trying to cherish my college days. It's about time. All right, man. I love you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Gonna miss it all, but I can't really look ahead because I want to live in the moment and just take it one step at a time. One of the things that we've learned from Ryan as a staff, he's taught us a lot. He takes more pride in wearing a Villanova jersey than any play we've ever had. And he looks at it as an honor to put that jersey on. We've had a lot of great ones and a lot of guys that love the program and play for our core values. But no one has lived it every day of his life like Ryan. I wouldn't really change anything. I would want it to be the same way it was and the same way it has been. Because I've cherished, loved the moments where we were, we were terrible, we were bad. I don't think I would want it to have been pretty from the start. Because then that means I wouldn't I didn't know any adversity. I feel like I've been a part of Villanova my whole life, but I feel like it's been a great ride and great career and, and something I've really enjoyed and um, that I'm gonna miss for sure.